I got this. That's my hair. That's my hair. Is it still good? Andre, can you fix my hair? Come on, do something. You look like Zoolander, turn left. <laughs> Brooklyn, welcome to yet another episode of Check Out the Workout. Today we're in the shadow of the Barclays Center with Ken Ng, who is the founder and CEO of Class One Mixed Martial Arts in Brooklyn. Ken, thanks so much for having us. Welcome. Welcome uh, both for coming down to my gym. It's uh, quite an honor having you guys here. Well, we're very excited to check out Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tonight. What are some of the moves that we're going to see tonight? Professor Luis right. Azredo yeah. runs our PGJ program here. Go. Start with a warm-up and then build the technique, so it's so like submission or escape, whatever whatever he has on his curriculum for today. All right, for him to do that, he's gonna put the hands under my armpit, and the other hands on my triceps, and dive in. When he dive in, look, my hands go here, and put back my hands on his neck, and then I turn for the other side. All right here. And then you practice the technique, and then you do, do some live rolling. Close sparring, but it's rolling, so you kind of do it against the, uh, uh, an, an opponent, you'll be fighting, basically. So that's pretty much the format for today that you'll be going through. Nice. And can, uh, can you explain to us what exactly is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, how is it a distinct uh, form different than, than other forms? Well, I'm a striking coach here, so I do the Muay Thai and boxing and Sanda. But um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is um, it's basically, I would say, ground fighting. It's uh, fighting on the ground. So as a form of self-defense, I think it's the most effective form of self-defense. And I'm a striker. So even I know, even I feel that that's more effective form of self-defense. Whether self-defense is a woman or a man trying to defend themselves. And basically it involves, you know, uh, submissions. That could be uh, through a choke, uh, through a, like an arm lock or some type of joint lock. It's also, it's also on the ground. Most fights that happen on the street end up on the ground. So it's good to know, defend yourself on the ground, you know. You're not going to have a ref on the street saying, okay, you guys on the ground, stand back up, start fighting again. You're not gonna, in real life, it's not going to happen like that. So you have to know what to do when you end up on the ground. Do you have people, as a result, coming in here just to learn self-defense as it relates to... I would say the majority of my clients are here for fitness. Uh, some do come in to learn to defend themselves. Uh, we have a, a really strong uh, a fight team here. About 20% of the people come here are fighters, and that's a lot for any gym, any uh, mixed martial arts gym, or any Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, any gym in general. Uh, we have a lot of fighters here, but generally most people come in just for fitness, and a lot of them come in to learn self-defense. Some of them come in just to get fit, but they find out they're really good at it, and they want to compete, so we have a lot of competitors here. You were actually an accountant first, right? Um, and yeah. can you tell us about how this uh, developed? How did Class 1 MMA come about? Well. Uh, yeah, it's a funny story. I worked as an accountant before, my degree is in accounting. Then I lost my job. I lost my job and then I was like having a hard time finding another accounting position. And it dawned on me, like why am, I, why am I looking so hard for a job that I never wanted to do? So then I was always interested, and I always did martial arts my whole life. I was always interested in fitness as well, so I figured I'd open up a gym. I've been lucky to find a lot of great trainers to work with me here. In one spot in Brooklyn, Brooklyn's the greatest, the greatest city, I think, in the world. Not just a borough, but I consider it a city. Greatest city in the world for me. You know, come down and check us out. Great. So we're going to get to be on this mat where all these greats have taught and sweat and fought. You want to check out yes. this workout? Let's check it out. Let's check out the workout. That hand's coming under between. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on your shoulders, right? Good. Yep. Beautiful. Watch. Okay, jump in the guards. Four. Okay. Tight. Get on his back. Move. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Under. Tight. 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 I can help you. Ta ta Yes. Yeah. Nice and strong. I'm in here side control, okay? I side control. And then, suppose you're gonna hug me. Okay. And then I'm gonna go for north side. Turn this turn this See? Put your elbow down. Put it down, just support it. 
<laughs> yeah, another episode. I check out the workout. Um, you know, what was interesting was there definitely was a little bit of fear. I, I think that's like the common thing is that I'm a little nervous about going into this because um, there's definitely I have you know a couple of tight areas in my body. But one thing that I realized was uh, you have to go into this one with an open mind. Yes. To you, you have to be. Um, there, everybody's here very respectful. So like you know, they, they talk to you, they walk you through everything. Um, and we go slow the first time. At the same time, uh, you have to protect yourself. Yes. Um, and you have to, I, I feel like I was a little relaxed, but at the same time I, was, I could tense up every now and then. So you don't want to tense up too much because sometimes that can cause even more problems. Right. I want to say like, it's almost like a brittle twig. You put pressure on it, it's going to snap. As opposed to like a palm tree, if you kind of go with the motion, it's going to be a little bit safer. I like that. So I had to kind of tap into that. So when you come into this class, I, I would say have an open mind and let your body kind of flow with it. Because if you tense up too much, uh, you might actually get, get a little bit more, yeah, you might get more injured. What do you think? I would say this class reminded me of childhood, like every other class. But <laughs> do you remember when you were young and you were with your siblings and you were tussling on the floor and your mom's like, watch out for my china? <laughs> That's how this felt today and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest thing here is that again, you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna be on the ground, you're gonna be doing some primal motion, but that's the point. The point is ground contact and using your body weight to assert control and also to uh, what? Assert control and what? Um, and you know, to keep from being controlled at the same time? Yeah, I mean, it's self defense, right? Mm -hmm. it is, we have to admit that it's part of self defense. Um, but it's also what one of the, uh, my partners said, he said, you know, have to think about it. Don't just kind of go with whatever, you know, you have to, you have to there's, there's strategy, you have to think about it. He's like, and then at one point, you know, he said, I had two options. You know, I can go this way and kind of get at your neck and distract you and go after your ribs. You know or I could like? do the opposite. It's like playing chess, but you're the chess piece. It's a human chess match. Human chess, human chess match. match. That's what Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Jiu -Jitsu is. is. That's our assessment. Can anyone do this? I think anybody can do this. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Well, what I was saying is that people talk to you. People are respectful to you. At the same time, you have to communicate. I communicate. I said, right, my first time, you know, let's go slow. But sometimes people, uh, everybody, all my partners at the beginning reassured me. And I think if you reassure the person that you're with, anybody can do this. Now, you can modify it. Listen, we've been through a lot of these episodes and you've got to modify it. Be uh, truthful to yourself, be honest, and truthful to your partner as well and respect each other. And that's why we uh, bowed and shook hands at the end and even in the middle. Yeah. So uh, what's the next workout going to be? I don't know. I know. What is it? We going. I guess here we go. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We what just happened? practiced this today. <laughs> Bye.